Hi, my friends. Scott Young here with some hope for living. We're on a journey, 21 days with Jesus, and we invite you on to that journey. You can catch up by going to the church YouTube uh, page, YouTube forward slash Church of Hope. Look for the playlist, 21 Days with Jesus. We're looking at 21 stories from the life of Jesus, this most inspirational person, the greatest person who ever graced the face of the earth. And I'm encouraging you, if you've got some stories from Jesus' life that you'd like us to look at that have been inspirational to you, then jump on, put them in the comments, let us know. Uh, we'd love to look at some of the stories and maybe some of the insights that you have about this incredible Jesus. Jeff, we're welcoming you just for spending 21 days with Jesus. We're gonna be praying with our friends in a moment, but we're glad you are a part. And if you are a part, just let us know that you're on this time, this journey. Hey, today's scripture, Luke chapter two, verses 41, through 52 uh, and it's an interesting story of Jesus it's Jesus at 12 Jesus as a junior high we don't have a lot of insight into the early part of Jesus life we have the birth of Jesus that we looked at yesterday how he came to be the light of the world and then we have this little snapshot of Jesus at 12, Jesus as a junior high, a middle school student, and then we pick up his life as an adult, as his ministry begins, which is the main purpose of his life, to come, to teach us, to show us how to live, and we'll get into many of those stories in the days to come. But in Luke chapter two, we find Jesus at 12, and we find that his parents were good parents. If you have any influence over the next generation, look at the life of Mary and Joseph. It says that they took Jesus to the festival. We don't know exactly what festival they were going to. Many uh, scholars believe this was Passover, but they went all the time. Every year they didn't miss. To really influence the next generation, you've gotta be a not missing person. They were regular in their worship weekly. They were regular in the festivals. And we need to call this next generation to emphasize faith. There's a lot of things that students can emphasize, sports or academics, and they're good. But without building a foundation of faith, without doing what Jesus calls us to do, seeking first the kingdom of God, they can be successful in sports, but not successful in faith. And faith is the foundation, not only for this world, but the world to come. Jenny, thanks for jumping on. Carol, thanks for jumping on. We'll be praying with you guys in a moment, 21 days with Jesus. Jesus goes in Luke chapter two as a middle school 12 year old student into the city of Jerusalem. It's bustling with people and he loses touch with his parents. Have you ever been in a crowd uh, with your kids at a school, at a fair, at a beach, and lost touch with your kids. It's happened to us. What a sense of panic. Uh, I've been with other friends and we've had to really look for their kids in a crowd. Well, Mary and Joseph were with friends and other people of faith, and they lost touch with Jesus. The whole group left the city and they traveled for quite some time. Uh, and during that day, they came to the awareness, oh my Lord, <laughs> where is Jesus? And he was in the city of Jerusalem, but Jerusalem is filled with people. So they spend days looking for Jesus. Guess where they find him? They find him in his father's house. They find him at the place of worship. He's been there for days. He's been talking about the word of God He's been asking questions. He's been giving his insights and his teachings. And the people that listen to Jesus, even as a middle school student, even as a junior high student, they were amazed by his knowledge, by his wisdom, by his insight. Now that is because of his desire to know God and the influence of good, godly parents. I'm gonna say it again. You're a parent, a grandparent. You have influence on this next generation. Put a hunger in their hearts 
for the Word of God. Put a hunger in their hearts for faith. Jesus has that. It's demonstrated when he's 12 years old. He's talking with the rabbis. He's talking with the scholars, and they're amazed. Wow. I'd love us to see some amazing middle school students rise up in this generation. We should be praying, pouring into them, and we're going to be praying over them in just a moment. You have a middle school student. You know Jessica. We'll be praying with you, and and my friend, Pastor Dave Tapley, thanks for jumping on. Nancy from Canada, thanks for jumping on. We're just going to be praying over, especially middle school, junior high students. The next generation as it comes up. We want to learn from Luke chapter 2, how Jesus had a hunger for God's word, how he has a knowledge of God's word. And then when his parents find him, listen to the words Jesus says. Hey, didn't you know where I would be? I'd be in my father's house. It's just imagine the moment that Jesus realized, I'm not with my parents anymore. The city's full of people. Where would I go? Where would, do you think they would come looking for me? Well, of course, in my father's house. He assumed that they would know where he would go. His meeting point was in the father's house. What a great lesson. You ever get lost in a crowd? You ever get lost in the tumult of life? Make your way to the Father's house. That's the best place to reconnect with God and the people that you love. Hey, other Canadians, uh, my friends, the Satello family, Steve Miller, we love you. Rebecca, let's take a moment to pray. Keep walking with Jesus. We'd love to hear some of the stories from Jesus' life that mean so much to you. Put them in the comments. Love to look at them. Jesus at 12 is today's story. Jesus as a middle school, junior high student. And we just pray. Let's take a moment to pray over the rising generation. Lord, we just pray right now uh, for students that we know. And we pray they would have a love for God's word and a love for faith. We pray God blessing over parents and grandparents, influencers, ministers, youth ministers that are influencing this rising generation. And then, Lord, we just want to be found in your house. Thank you for the faithfulness of Mary and Joseph. They went all the time. Faith was a core value of their family's life. Jesus was better for it. And Lord, may we raise our next generation with a love for God and a love for God's house. I just pray blessing on those that are part. Chris, we pray blessings over you as you've jumped on. Many of the people that are part of this live time, 21 days with Jesus, will keep going and we love you so much. We bless you today and of course we bless you every day. Jesus, thank you for this day and thank you for the life you lived and how much we can learn from spending time studying the stories of Jesus. Bless you in Jesus' name. And of course, in Jesus' name, you are very blessed.